find out what it is right now. Oh, that's a bass. I don't, yeah, and he got it good too. I don't know why they're so small on the ledges. We are uh, starting another vlog with you guys, trying to find some bigger ledge fish, but right now, that's all we're finding. And normally the first week of May, this time of year, the ledges are the deal for the big ones, but right now it has not been that way. So we're gonna see if we can find a couple spots. We're looking for four pounders, five pounders, six pounders, not twos. But it's weird right now. I don't know the answer. I got several bites though on this spot. That was the first one I've hooked, so we'll see what else is down there. I saw some nice marks, somewhat encouraging. White bass or no? That's a large bass. Come on, just jump off. Mm. Another little one. I don't know what the deal is. Ledge fishing in May on Gunners at least should all be three and four pounders. Trying to get it down there quicker. Definitely got it down there quicker. Got a bit right away too. There's a ton of fish down there. Getting bit every single cast right now. Yeah, we started with the swim bait on this spot and then uh, picked up the dredger just the water is just it's not that clear and the current's moving really fast these fish are right on the bottom so I mean that's when I like the crankbait better for the most part if you're ledge fishing on the Tennessee River the rule of thumb is the more current they're pulling the closer you want to be to the bottom and the less current they're pulling the more the fish will suspend with the water somewhat dirty right now and pulling they're definitely down there towards the bottom. I mean, every single cast. Dude, those Berkeley hooks are no joke. Super sharp hooks. Starting to get some more marks on it. Got him. I'm pretty sure we can get bid on every single cast right now. This is that place I told you too. I didn't tell the camera, told the camera crew, I caught 25 fish and 25 consecutive casts off this spot a long time ago. Back then they were all two and a half to four pounders. Switch over to a worm for that one. I think we've made <laughs> eight or 10 casts here and gotten bit every single cast. These fish don't know what hits them. They hold on to this max scent forever. Little spot. Goodbye. That's the beautiful thing about Max Scent is if it's windy or you're not very good at detecting bites, 
It will literally hold onto it forever, it seems like. Like, sometimes you can't even shake them off if you try. I'm not gonna say he's a better one. Nope. We're throwing this new football shaky head from Berkeley and show it to you guys real quick. This thing is awesome. It's a half ounce. Uh, we're throwing the Maxent Hitworm Magnum. Fits it perfectly. It's got a long shank on the hook. You can see how far down it comes with the five aught and holds up there really well. It's got a unique design to it. Corey's been calling it the alien head. Hey, it's a football head uh, that doesn't get hung up. That's what I love about it. I've been throwing the same one for a few days now and haven't lost it. So good hook, good head that doesn't get hung up and a really good worm on there with the hit worm Magnum from Maxent. There he is. Trying to move up on this thing. Oh, coming out of the water like a dang smallmouth. Just another little larger. They are literally from 50 yards behind us to probably another 30 yards in front of us, like 100 yards of just straight bass like that. And no good ones, but we're throwing this setup on a seven foot four medium heavy Ike rod and we're using 15 pound uh, Trilene 100% fluorocarbon and an eight to one STX reel, pretty fast reel. And uh, just a really simple setup that works perfectly for that shaky hit. Make another cast back up there and see if I can get one more. Just moved up a little bit and got bit. Be a four. Be a four pounder. It's fighting like he's a little better, but good spot. <laughs> That's why he's fighting better. There's more and more spotted bass showing up in Lake Gunnersville getting out here on the ledges that's a nice spot not bad at all all right guys we're moving spots but uh i gotta tell you current's moving uh spot lock again unbelievably useful tool tool uh we found these fish idled over them got on the down current side hit spot lock made several casts caught several fish in a row and then we just inched our way up using the jog feature. So we just went up about five feet per time we hit it and, uh, you know, continued to catch fish. But we've worn the spot out, so it's time to go. Spot lock is the deal. There he is. And that might be a better fish too right there. He's not bad. <clears throat> Yeah, he's not what we're after. He felt better at first. But another one on the dredger, 25.5. 15 pound line, just pretty much burning it as fast as you can with the Revo winch. That's how you want to get on every ledge you start on for the most part. I would show him a crankbait or swim bait first before you pick up those soft plastics. rod man. Ike you did a good job on this rod bro.
Come here, dude. He did not let go of it. That will show you right there how they eat the max scent. I'm talking about he swallowed it. Swallowed it. They do not let it go. I'm telling you guys, if you want to get more bites and then those bites that you get, they hold on to it forever. You guys need to try out Max Scent. For some reason, the little ones are out on the ledges right now. The big ones are gonna show up soon. Uh, and when they do, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But that's it for this week's vlog. You guys make sure to like, share, tag a friend, and uh, we're gonna catch a few more little ones. And then, if I can get this hook out, I don't ever cut them off and leave them in them. Because if you go through the gills, you can always get that hook out every single time, just like that. You guys like, share, tag a friend. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. We're gonna get back to catching two pounders on Gunnersville. But hey, it's a lot of fun. They're biting like crazy. We've probably caught 30 today, so good times.